beautiful movie palace was built in 1926 and at one time was part of the Fox West Coast Theater circuit. I acquired the ground lease on this very rundown, faded theater in late 1979 and immediately in 1980 began a huge program of restoration, renovation and expansion. And I hope that this theater survives forever. It's a great theater, this is a great town and it's a piece of history that is fast becoming extinct in our country. Uh, we are a throwaway society where everything good and wonderful seems to be replaced by strip malls. And uh, I'm doing everything I can to keep this beautiful piece of movie history alive. You will never see a commercial in one of my theaters. We don't believe in that. Nor do we believe in filling our lobbies with noisy, distracting video games. We try to really preserve the classic movie-going experience here and show movies just the way they would have been shown when the theater was built in 1926. Hi, I'm Warren Lubitsch. I'm a house organist here at the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland. How do people react here, would you say? I mean, this is, it's not exactly usual in this day and age of the uh, multiplex. To have oh, no, of course not. Well, no, people love it. I mean, that, I think that's one of the big, big features here at the Grand Lake is, uh, is the organ. In fact, uh, the managers have told me people come and say, is the organ playing tonight? There are a number of movie theaters that have retained the instruments. Uh, there's not a tremendous number, nothing where near what happened in the 1920s, because these instruments were built for the accompaniment of silent movies. I have kind of a soft spot in my heart because the very first organ that I ever played in a theater was here at the Grand Lake in 1958 when the original organ was in here. You're kidding. And it was not an authorized uh, event. I happened to know the assistant manager who let me come in one night after the theater had closed and uh, we found the the power switch for the blower for the organ and we cranked it up and I played it. You know, when there's an organ that needs to be played, I'll play it. percent of our profit comes from concessions. 70 to 90 percent of the ticket sales go back to the movie studios. So if we're lucky, we pay our electricity bill with the money we make at the box office. So the money at the candy counter is what pays all of our salaries and cleaning and everything else. So if you don't go to a movie and buy a Snickers bar, you're pretty the much... The movie's going to go out of business. And that's one reason why we much prefer movies like Star Wars where people buy candy and soda a lot than, say, a Woody Allen movie where people tend to come in and only buy a cup of coffee where there's a lot less of a profit margin. So there's a whole other aspect. Where so we Woody Allen, film, like, they don't eat a lot of... Where they have, like, high cholesterol. They've got, like, you know, they, they bad know teeth. Better, yeah. They know better than to buy a giant a popcorn with extra butter. I don't want to sound like a cliche, but showbiz is in my blood, and there's something really exciting about being here when people are coming to see a movie, and they're sort of touched by art, and they come out and, they're, and they've laughed, or they've cried, or they've been moved. And there's something like that that you're never going to get working at a hardware store or working as an accountant. I'm Stephen Shelley, projectionist at the Grand Lake Theater. Seems to be an awful lot of uh, remakes and sequels these days. Remaking of all things skits from TV, skits from TV shows. 
like the cone heads come to mind is a bad example of <laughs> what not to do. This is a drum switch for the animation on the roof side, the 1926 animation. You have to uh, have parts made for this. You can't get them anywhere anymore. They have to be custom made. It's uh, so old. It's original 1926 equipment. Nine six foot three. Can you get perspective? <laughs> Say again. I'm six foot three. The ladder is taller than I am. Is that one of the pluses of working here? What? The sign? <laughs> Turning on the sign? Well, I didn't turn it on, but uh, I fixed it. I'm the one that changes the light bulbs when I get around to it. It's a lot of climbing. Yeah. Like about, uh, let's go up there, another 70, 80 feet above the, the roof here. I said that, this the, that a theater is like a museum where people go and they look at art, they don't actually have something in their hand. But, all, but actually, this is a cathedral. And in the old days, they would spend years and years and tons of resources making these beautiful places where you'd actually go and sort of pay homage to your God or, or homage to something bigger than us, something that's more important than us. And that's sort of what this theater symbolizes. That's what all these theaters symbolize.